Hello my Tauruses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm still Debbie and I'm reading for March 3rd through the 9th. Now I've done my overview. We're ready for some changes or something like that. I am not doing a new moon reading because the new moon actually is more, well, well in, my, in my hemisphere, it is more on the 10th at 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Central, Eastern time I should say. So I will do it the next time around, okay? So that meant I changed up some cards. If you want to know the cards that I'm using, please look at the overview. Now remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Okay, don't... Okay, my Taurus is watch how stubborn you want to be. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes you just need to kind of, I'm not saying you back down. I'm not saying that you say, you know, that you're saying, oh, you know, you're right. Um, some, again, sometimes you got to watch... What do they say? Watch the battles or, you know, you won the battle, lost the war, lost the war, but won the battle, something like that. You might get in your own way, and um, there, you know, because what's the uh, the stuff with Uranus and the relationship one, you know, Mars, Venus. You might be in your own, get in your own way, and don't do that. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Um, let's see. These cards popped. All three cards. Okay, these two are reversed. I mean, all three are are face down but these are reversed they pop so this is these two are a little bit stronger uh it's just i just feel you know that that mars venus thing um and uranus and it just it just feels like you can maybe um silence might be a good retreat how's that okay anyway let's see but there's a lot of creativity coming your way there's a lot of possibilities coming your way okay so just Back down from the stubbornness a little bit. Okay, how do, how do we do this? Okay, one first card is Seven of Fire. So I tell you to back down on, on your stubbornness, but then the Seven of Fire comes and says, Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. I feel like you're going to want to do that. Temper it with a little bit of kindness, okay? Temper it with a little bit of love and gentleness. Now, Seven... To me, seven is God's umbrella, watches over you, protects you, even when you're going through some hailstorms, uh, maybe some lightning storms, maybe some big rainstorms. Fire is our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, very, very determined energy. You know, so even though it seems like everybody's against you, I'm not telling, again, watch the stubbornness. <laughs> watch it, watch the stubbornness. Sometimes it's best to just kind of go, you know what? I'm going to leave now for a moment. I need, I need some time away. But the seven of fire comes, of course, and contradicts and says, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. But it says, choose your battles wisely. And I did talk about battles, didn't I? So be very, be very careful on what you want to, be, be careful on what you want to um, um, stand on. Okay, next card, reversed. The King of Fire. Now, I love the King of Fire. King of Fire sees so much. King's underlying energies are air energies. Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. Now, remember, I think, wasn't it Mars and Venus are in Aquarius? So we do have that thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Uranus is in your sign. So that's where we're having, I think it's, I think it's a square. So I think there's a little bit of a push off there. Now, very wise energy. Fire again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is big energy. This is like there's so much I need to talk about. There's so much that needs to get done. There's so much we need to, we need to make decisions. There's so much going on. The king of fire does want you to bring it down a little bit to, and wants, you to, wants to help you kind of prioritize what is needed for you to work on, okay? You can work on everything and anything, my Tauruses, but as it will say here, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Now, King of Fire is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. There's so much you want to work on, so much you want to accomplish. 
Not saying that you won't get that down, but maybe you need to make a list. Maybe you need to prioritize what is the first, second, third, okay? Because this type of energy and with what's going on, you know, I know Uranus, all that, it, it, it can be like, okay, I, I got this. Okay, now let me go. Uh, I'm painting this, but now I need to go do this. And you could have all these fires, all these irons in the fire and not necessarily accomplish what you set out to do, okay? So choose a couple or five <laughs> and then put your focus towards that, okay? Next card, reverse, not reversed, five of fire. Five again, change, change, change. Um, you know, fire again, you know, lots of kinetic energy all around you. Lots of things going on. Like I said, this is this just feels very, uh, so much. Now this does talk about competing goals bothersome details, conflicts with others. So it's, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's, that you can't make or you can't achieve something really wonderful with this energy. Again, watch being, watch how stubborn you want to be. Focus on the things that need to be focused on. But the conflict with others, I mean, people are just going to, they're just going to kind of like irritate the um, stuffing out of you. Yeah, I'm trying, yeah, we're, we're working, we're keep it, trying to keep it clean here. And, you know, sometimes you just have to walk away from them, okay? It doesn't mean you have to, and I don't mean with a jab or a dig either. My, my Taurus is not like a, yeah, you just, just walk away. You can come back later, okay? But focus on what you want to get done. The other thing about the five of fire is when people are coming around you and they're trying to, you know, they're trying to poke the, the bull more or less, um, they're trying to keep you from maybe accomplishing what all of this is about too. So very, very relationship, very chaotic energies are all around you. You can use this. You can be very creative with this, my Tauruses, and use this for your good. Um, but keep, keep the focus. Keep the focus on maybe the five, ten things you want to get done. Okay? Okay. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else is there for my Tauruses? What else is there for my Tauruses? <laughs> what else is there for my Tauruses? Keep the focus. I don't want to say narrow the focus because I hate the idea of stifling your creativity. But you might need to narrow the focus. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Rest and rejuvenate. So this is a four. Stability, organization, leadership. So you have seven, five, four, four, five, seven. This is also air energy, what we talked about. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, thought processes, thinking things through. Mars and Venus, right? Isn't that what I, what's in, you know, they're, they're squaring off with you. <sighs> breathe, breathe, take a moment, relax, breathe, 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 rest and rejuvenate. Take a moment, step back, step back. You can still defend your, your fort. You can still depend, defend your, your, your position. But take a step back, okay? Because sometimes you're just going to go so into it and you lose, again, you lose focus. You lose focus. Okay, let's see what we have uh, with this. Angels of Abundance for my Taurus. So, so basically what I'm saying, don't think of this as bad, my Taurus. Just think that you're going to be really revved up People could be very irritating to you, and they could just be plain old wrong. Um, and you know, and you want to say, you know, you got to get them, you got to get them. Hey, okay, you know, they're wrong. Walk away, walk away. Remember, I said this on somebody else. So if you cross watch and you come across my story, um, this was very profound for me. Then take it as validation. Wise, you know, it was a it was a cartoon. Wise man comes to man. Uh, a, a man of peace, uh, I mean, businessman comes to a wise man, uh, says, what is the secret to peace? Wise man says, never argue with a fool. Businessman says, I don't agree with that. Wise man says, you are right. So here we go. Here we go. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else for my, <laughs> my, my very energized Taurus is here? What else? Here we go. That over there. Release jealousy. Now that's interesting in itself too. Okay, jealousy. 
Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, definitely so can you. Interesting. How did that, somebody, did that, did that resonate for someone out there? Okay, so I've got these new cards. I talk about them in the overview. Uh, let's see. This is going to be crystal. I don't think there's any energies. I think they're all crystals, so I've not really used these except for this time around. So let's see. What crystals are there for my Tauruses? There's been qu quite a few that I've not even really seen. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Tiger Eye. Well, I do like Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye. We have a 3, 9. 3 is celebration, creation. 9 is let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. Tiger Eye has a connection with animals, which is a very earth energy. It's also solar plexus chakra, uh, which is right below the heart. And it's also about your integrity and um, just basically stand, stand in, you know, standing on what you believe. So you may need Tiger Eye. Not, I am not telling you to change your beliefs, not at all. But maybe you need Tiger Eye to help you express them or back off from them. Okay? But I do like Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye is also good for money and, new, and creating um, new ideas too. So let's see what we've got here. These are called the Dream Oracle Cards. Let's see, what do we have for our Tauruses? What else is there for our Tauruses? What else is there for our Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. My Taurus, my Tauruses. What else is there? What else? Higher power? Holy Spirit. Okay. Color. Color, color. Pretty, pretty. Oh, <laughs> well, we've been just contradicting, haven't we? Express your true feelings. Well, I don't see, I don't see that as a problem for you this week, my Tauruses. I don't. But you, you let me know what you thought about that, too. Okay, my Tauruses, do me my favor. Please like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. Believe it or not, you were you were so wonderful last week. Thank you. You help me so much. Thank you again. As always, most important part of it all, saving the best to the last. Always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.